Hello everyone and welcome back to the desktop here on Cornflakes Crib, your home of Rugby Challenge 2 where we are stepping off the rugby field today and having a look at something to do with installing mods on the game. So recently, within the last couple of weeks or so, I've had a lot of you asking about installing single kits onto the game with a lot of people on the forums now making singular kits for certain teams or certain competitions and not coming out as whole packs which has got a few people confused already now I hope this is what you guys are looking for remember if there's anything else that you need help with do not be afraid to put that in the comments and I'll try to help everyone out as much as my abilities possess but today it is single kits and we'll get cracking straight in for it it shouldn't take too long but let's start right at the beginning Obviously we need to get the kits and obviously the best place to start for that is right here on the Sidey forums. Now there is a really good one going around at the moment, this one. It is from Gonzalo. I'm not even going to try and say his last name. But he has made a pile of single kits um, over the last few months that are absolutely outstanding. They are what I use in my videos, most of my videos at the moment. The new 2014 Super Rugby kits, things like that, the Six Nations kits, have mainly all come from this thread. So as you can see we've got a whole pile of them here, like Japan. So you've got a single kit, which is exactly this. You can download that on that link at the bottom there, and that is all you need to do in regards to downloading it. So you find the one you want, or all of them, you just get them one by one, and hit that download, and you will get a file like this. Now this is the Waratahs kit for 2014. This is their only kit and if you double click on that you'll see there's four files associated to that. Get rid of that there. But we're not going to worry about that just yet. We'll put that away and we'll put that away. Now we have the kit file there in our folder. We need to find out where it's going to go. So we want to open up your file explorer which should look a little something like that don't get too confused about the many hard drives here but it should be on your C drive normally where you want to go but for me it is E yourself should be on C normally on most mainstream kind of computers will be on there from there we want to look for the Steam folder now if you can't find the Steam folder then you can search it up here as per usual or if you have the DVD version of the game it'll probably be in its own Rugby Challenge 2 folder at the same location so we want to go to Steam we want to come down to Steam Apps at the bottom there then to Common and then we want to scroll down to Rugby Challenge 2 double click on that one and we're back here where if you've followed the tutorial for installing just a normal mod you'll find that this is the same place that we were at for that as well now next step you'll see there is two files down here the patch and the PK PKCMN both pack files of course this patch one coming with the patch that was released quite a few months ago so you should have that if you've patched your game that is ideally the one you want to use but this one here will work just as good. The PKCMN file works as well. But we're going to, for this tutorial, we're going to use the patch file. So you want to double click on that. Get rid of that rubbish again. And this is where people are probably getting a bit lost. Is where to go from here. Because normally you just grab your files and you drag them straight into here. And don't worry about anything. But not, not so simple now. We want to go to actors at the top then to player and then following that we have strips at the bottom we go to there and as you can see this is all the strips absolutely piles of them don't get too flustered about that you can leave that there and then go back to where your kit is so here's your single kit file the Waratahs now we want to just extract what's in there straight to here there we go so with we have extracted this WinRAR file which you'll need WinRAR, WinZip, 7-Zip, anything like that will work. Extracted that into the folder and we have our four files from that folder. Now we want to select all four of them and simply put, drag them into this patch folder and you'll come up the window like this. You'll just say, okay, wait a couple of seconds and voila, that is done. You can close that, you can throw that in the recycle bin 
throw it out to the garbage and wait for the wheelie bin truck to come pick that crap up, launch your game, and you are done and dusted. It is as simple as that. No need for any confusing stuff. That is all it takes to get a single kit in your game. Obviously, if you're getting multiples of that kit, you of different kits, but all singular ones, you just extract each and every one individually and then drag them across as you add them to the game. So that is all it takes. I hope that answers quite a few questions on how to install single kits into your game of Rugby Challenge 2. Hope it all works out for you all. Don't forget if you want any other questions answered, leave them in the comments and I can help out to the best of my ability. And I hope it all goes well and you can enjoy some fancy new kits in your game and that'll be me that is all it takes so thank you all for watching hope this helped and i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to hit that like and subscribe if you found this helpful and i'll see you all next time hopefully back out on the field until then take care